what is so important that you're willing to give yourself to save it? Hey, I'm Dylan, and you're listening to Unlock, your daily key to unlocking God's Word in your life. What's the one thing in your life so precious to you that you'd give yourself up in order to save it? Think Katniss and the Hunger Games level commitment. That's the level of sacrifice we're looking at in today's story, Outbid by Carol Raj. El's dragon, Thon, had run away many times. But never before had he been missing for more than one rotation of the two moons. El had hand-fed him from his hatching, taught him to fly, nursed him through dragon pox, loved him. El sat up in her bed. The annual dragon market was today at the junkyard for old time machines. Perhaps Thon would be there. She must hurry. At the auction, she saw him almost at once, shoulders slumped, a tear in one eye. Her telepathic device was only fourth generation, but it sensed Thon's despair. Thon, she called. He turned his mighty head. If only she could explain her circumstances to the auctioneer before he started the bidding, but she was too late. She was only halfway up the aisle when the first bid ran out, more than she could possibly earn in a lifetime. She shouted out a higher number anyway, outbid again. Still, she went higher. 450,000 drachs, an astronomical sum. The other bidder stayed silent. Sold! The auctioneer pointed toward L. She made her way to the platform, then whispered, I don't have the money, but I had to stop the bidding. That's my dragon. I raised him from his hatching. Ask him. The auctioneer sneered. This is an auction, not a reunion site. Soldiers, take her away. Thon bellowed, an agonizing sound. El shouted, Auction me then! I am worth 450,000 drachs! The auctioneer bent down. Why would you do that? Nobody has ever given themselves for the purchase of another. Not in the history of the world. Maybe not in the history of this age, El said softly. But I have read about another time when a being, the God-man, gave his life so others might live. He is called Messiah. Do you love this dragon so much then? The auctioneer asked. El nodded and something in his countenance changed. It's not the custom to withdraw dragons once they're entered in the auction, but I believe he must be yours. He banged his gavel. Go in peace. So, let's talk about this a little bit more. Today's allegorical story gives us a glimpse of God's sacrificial love for us. We all run away from God, but he paid the highest price to restore us to himself. The Messiah, Jesus, willingly went to the cross to die because it was the only way to save us. And then he rose from the grave, defeating sin and death forever. How can these truths give us hope? Now, as you and I can read in John 15, 13, there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. And I'd encourage you to dig a little bit deeper and read Luke 15 and Romans 5, 5 through 11 to keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a service of Keys for Kids Ministries. If you love Unlocked and want to share it with your friends, you can get rewards at the same time. Refer your friends and rack up points for unlocked merch like t-shirts, beanies, water bottles, and more. Go to unlock.org slash referrals to find out more. And come back for tomorrow's devotional with Natalie. Why you shouldn't pray about being a better friend. But until then, I'm Dylan, encouraging you to live life unlocked. Opening the door to God in your life. Hey.